What is up, gamers? We are here at the Flickr station. I absolutely love this place. Music? I don't know. Something about the music. It's just really catchy. It's probably my favorite track. No word of a lie. Got a shopping center, Pokemon Center, and if you go this way, you'll find a cave. Now this area is important, more so later on, but at this current point it's just a rest stop. We're just going to go ahead with the cave right now. And I totally forgot to use a repel, that was my fault. Now this dungeon, I'll explain it a little bit, it's not too complicated. It's basically two donuts on top of each other. We are on the top floor right now, and below us is the bottom floor. Now, to exit this place and go to the next area, we're just gonna have to exit through the bottom. However, there's quite a few items on this top level and the bottom level that we're gonna wanna try and grab before we get out of here, so that'll pad out the rest of this episode, hopefully. Anyway, we're gonna sludge bomb him because I don't want to get paralyzed and yeah Pikachu is kind of wimpy for this point in the game he should have gotten Goro Chew oh and he's poison nice poison doesn't really do anything besides damage it's not like burn that also reduces attack I know burns pretty good in the later games because it like cuts the attack by 50% or something insane like that. Cubone. Alright, I guess we're gonna use Weedle. Razor Leaf's pretty good, even though it's a physical move and not a special one. And, wow. I'm not 100% sure how uh, Bone Meringue works, to be honest. If it's a two to five hit move, or if it's just a double hit. Oh, wow, that was a pretty decent amount of XP and a meowth. You know what? I'll send in Kwame. You know, I told myself I was gonna level up the weaker characters on my team, but I just kind of ended up giving up on that. And wow, double miss. But we hit like it was nothing. However, I'm going to be doing a lot of cuts just for repel, spraying, and healing up my members, so hopefully you guys don't mind all the heavy editing. So there is a very good item there, but we'll have to go from above to get it. But right now we can get a super repel, which is a pretty nice item. And for now, I just want to only go and do things in the top floor. Because once you go down, it'll be a little bit of a trip to get through, and... Oh, damn. He blocked the way from battle, battle, battle. What are you, dude? Tama? It's a Wick Sauce reference, for those of you who know. We love Tama around here. And Macho. Oh, that's actually fairly powerful. I don't know if I'll be able to deal with that. I can fake out and try an Aqua Jet. But Macho has pretty good defense, too. And uh, unfortunately, my guy's kind of a glass cannon. Let's see if, uh, I don't think Big Grape has, oh no. That was the worst possible thing that could happen to me. Well, I can't even check to see if he has any, like, statuses or, what am I trying to say? I can't check his moves or look at his stats, that's kind of stupid. Let's try and burn him with the Fire Fang. Nope. Oh man, that's gonna do extra damage. Well, okay. Well, charcoal got lost, but that's okay. I pretty much got him down to kill range, so it's all right. It's all good. And wow. Yeah, shut up, dude. <laughs> and that would've been really cool if that guy blocked my path too. <sighs> Yeah, I guess the game developer wasn't that much of a jerk, and we got Houndour. It's dark fire, so let's just fake him out. Thankfully, he doesn't have flame body or anything, so I can physically attack him with total indiscretion. And that killed him. Nice. Yeah, what do we get? 
special and no defense points. That's cool. And Growlithe, he can hurt us with Flame Body and Intimidate. Really messes things up too. First, that sucks. And what if he burned me? Well, we barely made it out of that one. Yeah, Kevin's a bit of a disappointment. Maybe he'll get better when he evolves? Probably not. And we roasted that fool. Whoa, he's evolving already. I thought he was going to evolve at 28. Okay, awesome. Look at that. He looks ridiculous. <laughs> Let's learn Ice Fang. Eh, that's not bad. I'll get rid of Bite for. Well, actually, I'll get rid of Quick Attack because Aqua Jet is just Quick Attack with the same type of attack bonus. So he bites a lot. That's pretty cool. And what do we have here? Ice Punch. Very, very good move. What's this guy got to say? Is he a Psychic or is he a Pokemon Maniac? I can never tell because they have the same old world sprite. You know, I really liked the old Pokemon Maniacs, how they were like crazy trench coat dudes. And now they're just kind of lame. They're like, you know, they're just weird Yif cosplayers. I don't like that. It's weird. And yeah, go ahead, dude. Speed up. He's so smug looking, man. Oh snap, he did 20 damage. On the dot, on the dollar, Ice Fang. That should be quadruple effective because it's part his dragon flying, I believe. Yeah, it's got Flaffy, oh dude. This is a bad matchup. Bulldozer him. Nice. Yeah, is that Zatu, Natu, whatever? He's really frustrating to work with because in this game, he does not get a psychic move very early on, which, you know, you kind of want your psychic type to use psychic taps. You want your fire type to use fire attacks. That's kind of one of the main mechanics of the series. Um, I don't know why. I know in XD Gale of Darkness, Natu is very good, because he's very fast, he's kind of like mid-range for power, but like you can get a TM for Psychic pretty early on, he's very fast, and it's double battles, so you're like almost always going to be able to hit somebody with like a move that they're weak against. Like Aerial Ace, Psychic, and like putting up Reflect is always a really handy support move. He's not so good in the 1v1 format games, because like... You just want to min-max speed and attack, or, or just focus all in on defense. That's kind of why I hate these uh, like 1v1 type Pokemon games, because it's like this isn't very challenging. You just match the types and just one-shot everything. And wow, I survived with 2 HP. That is interesting, to say the least. And I don't think this guy evolves at level 30. I could be wrong. A lot of these later characters from like 5th generation and onward, I don't remember so well how they, uh, you know, when they evolve. No, I guess not. Okay, cool. And there's another fire guy here. Let's take him on. You know, I might be wrong. This is either the exit or I was actually completely wrong and there's a, a layer above here. And Oh, hey, a Litwick. That's a ghost type, so I might actually be able to hit him. Yeah, so Ominous Wind, that's a ghost move, so this will be super effective on him, but who knows if it's going to be enough to kill him. Uh, no. And... Nightshade. I can't two-shot me, but thankfully I'm faster, so at least I'll get in, like, one kill. Oh. Yeah, so Nightshade's interesting, because even though it's completely dictated by the user's level, even if it's super effective, it will not do anything beyond its preset attack value, which is nice, because that was super effective, I, I just die. 
and Cyndaquil, okay. Uh, Kwame, I guess I have to use Kevin because he's like the lowest level person. He's got Quilava too. Why didn't you evolve both of them? Are you stupid or something? I'll never understand that. That's one of the things I really did not like about the anime. Was like, the, pro the protagonist, Ash, Satoshi, whatever. He never evolved his monsters. And like, I get in some cases, having the dude be small and fast is probably a tactical advantage. What the hell happened there? <laughs> yeah, sometimes the level up values glitch. Like, I hated it, because, like, Charizard was cool, and I liked how he was, like, disobedient and kind of rebellious. Like, never evolved any of the other starters until, like, the later seasons of the anime. So, yeah, it turns out this dungeon is actually multiple layers. I don't know why I thought it was two. Um, I, I'm misremembering something I did, like, two weeks ago or something. That's messed up. Anyway, it's Snover for me. Oh no, please don't get killed by hail. Uh, just immediately switch out for Frigly. I should have healed, I don't know why I didn't, but Snover is like quadruple weak against fire, so I can one-shot him with little to no difficulty. And oh no, I'm gonna take like three damage from hail. Actually, that was six, but what? Oh, frick off. Oh, you missed to be at 78 HP. Wow. So powerful. And you're gonna die in one shot. Look at that. What a difficult opponent. What a challenging area. I'm rushing a little bit because there is a rest stop immediately outside of this dungeon. And so you might, if you want to just explore here, and save yourself the effort of having to go in and out of the cave and go to town. You might just want to do this area, at least like to completion, and then have the rest stop as kind of a go-between area. Look at that, more skiers. Yo, you ready for this? You better strap in. Yeah, whatever, dude. How is he moving around on a snowboard if there's no like hill to go down? Wouldn't he just be, like, shuffling to get around everywhere? Oh no. I played the psychic sound effect for some reason, and it lowered my speed. But I don't think I'm gonna be slower than him. And I just proved myself right, because I got the first hit anyway, and he's down. Look at that. That's the power of teamwork, folks. Frigley's already level 30. That's pretty good. And Swinoob. Hit him with another Fire Fang. Blow his ass away. What do you got next? Oh, a Machop. That's actually something interesting for once. We're still gonna Fire Fang him. Oh, and he's burned. Awesome. And he flinched. Wow. Okay, I'm just gonna bite him once. Yeah. That was very lucky. That's why we like bang attacks, because they can flinch and inflict status and do both at the same time. It's not just one or the other. If you go to the left, you can get to the exit of this dungeon. But let's see what happens if you go to the right path. What can we find there? Got another exit. And another battle. Who is this? Is this guy a psychic or is he another fanboy? I can never tell. It could also be a super nerd. Because I think they all have the same model. Model. I'm talking about like it's a 3D game. Oh, are you kidding me? Alright, dude. Fine. Screw you. Damage. Whoa, low kick 
Warp's actually pretty strong on me. Let's just fake him out. And endure, alright man. Whatever. And that finishes him off. And we got a critical too, that's pretty good. Big grape leveled up. Not a very good level up. I mean, he's got good speed ups, but that's kind of it. Waltz. Oh boy. And I'm almost wanting to just put myself out there and get some more XP. Wish. Oh, that's not too bad. I'm still two thirds, so. Bye. Confuse Ray. And then hit him. If he has synchronize, I'm gonna be pissed. Okay, good. Uh-oh, that's bad. Come on, hurt yourself, hurt yourself, hurt yourself. Kill yourself. Oh, I think we just got this. Nice. That's good. We're finally getting somewhere with this character. And Curlia is pretty dangerous too, so I'm gonna confuse Ray them. Nice. Yeah, this might be a good strategy. Oh no! Uh, I'm just gonna teleport into somebody else. Piss off, dude. Okay, I didn't die from that. Teleport does switch you out in this game, which is very good. So let's send out Kevin. And we'll fake out, so we can just milk another turn. Then we're gonna bite. And that should hopefully finish things off. Nope. But maybe they'll kill themselves. Oh yeah. So yeah, that's another thing that sucks about Big Grape is that... <laughs> He only has 5 PP on his only attack move. How am I supposed to level him up? Like, he can't, he, he can't kill anything. Not like he's uh, too weak. Is He literally cannot. That sucks. Well, let's press on. Oh, dude. I... That's like the second time I've done that. That sucks. We got Charmander! Dude, the guy who uh, did the English dub of the anime that, like, voiced Charmander, he would scream that. Like, <laughs> and the guy, I think it was the same person, who also did uh, the voice lines for Charmander and Snap on N64. He would shout that to the high heavens. It was insane. I can't do it as well as him. And he flinched. That's Aqua Jet. We missed. Sucks. Oh, he's gonna fire fang us. Screw you, dude. No burn, no burn. Yes, okay. Rocket Jet is going to kill you. Die. It's gonna take forever to evolve this guy. Charmeleon. Dude, Charmeleon looks so weird in this sprite. Like, look at his stumpy little legs. It's, he just look. <laughs> he looks like something's wrong with him, you know? Oh, he's got Dragon Breath. That's cool. Dragon Breath's pretty dangerous. It can potentially paralyze you. And damn, I could have gotten some decent level ups off of that. And another Fire Breather. Let's take this guy on. Is it me or is it getting colder around here? It's just you, dude. absolutely cannot do anything about this guy, so I'm just going to use Kevin as my meat shield. And yeah, go ahead and bite me, dude. I'm not even going to get a hit, so it doesn't matter if you flinch me. And wow. He has, like, no defense, so we're just going to finish him with the Aqua Jet. That was pretty good. I think I might get a level up off of this. Yeah, oh. No, it looked like it was. 
coffee. I actually can't do anything about this guy because I don't have a psychic move on my psychic type, which makes no sense. It's like they forgot Zatu even existed. And he's like one of the coolest looking characters in my opinion. He looks so cool. You would think Mr. Game Creator of this uh, mod would have added some new updated movesets. And maybe he did. I don't know 100% for sure. Because I wouldn't have like all the movesets memorized. I kind of forgot all this stuff. Oh, there it is. Someone called me a maniac. Can you believe that? Me? A maniac? I don't know, man. If you're getting mad, it's probably because it's true. Simeon. And uh, we can't really do anything. So I'm just going to use Frigley because he has Metal Claw, which will just rip through this marshmallow. I didn't see my health go down at all, so I was just really confused. Give me an attack up, dude. Oh, that doesn't matter. Oh, that might hurt a bit. Not really. Let's try out extreme speed. It's a very cool attack. It used to be an exclusive move for Arcanine. But now just about anyone has it. And Elekid. Oh, I would have switched out, but uh, that guy use a lot of powerful electric attacks and just instantly kill Big Grape. And he's dead. Oh no, not static. Damn you. Got some good XP from that though. Yeah, if you're laughing maniacally, I think you're a maniac. So this was the area that we got cut off from absolutely nothing. There's another battle here. What's she got? Hiya! She's doing a karate move? No, she's saying hello, obviously. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I hope he doesn't have pursuit or I'm effed. Alright. Frigley. Okay, good. He didn't have pursuit. That would have been just insane if it was able to predict that. Metal Claw. Ooh. Not good, folks. Oh, never mind. That was like single digit attack. Ag agility? Why? I'm paralyzed too, so I have my speed cut. <laughs> I. Man. The hell? Oh, yes! Okay, I think level 25 is when he evolved, so that's awesome. And another Weasel. It's just Fire Fang him. Whoa, he howled at me. What does Howl do? It increased his attack, although the animation looked like it affected my stats because my character, like, glowed and, you know, flashed or whatever. Anyway, we're at level 31, and not a bad stat up. And Snover. Okay. Thankfully, we can just insta kill Snover. I don't know why she didn't lead with that, because all her guys are ice. But, uh,. You know, I won't question the AI's flawless tactical genius. Alright, that's it. Ah, oh, just come on, I want to see him evolve. Alright, check this out. I hope he learns something new. Whoa, it's Zatu. He looks so comfy. He's gonna learn a psychic attack. He's gonna get Psy Beam or anything good. Air Slash. Alright, that's better than nothing, I suppose. Bomb and swing. What does Air Slash do? Attack that may cause flinching, and it's special. Well, you know what? I'll get rid of Teleport because. Now, mm, yeah, you know what? Confuse Ray is kind of lame. <laughs> Air Slash, nice. Now I can beat up on fighting types. That's awesome. So, just take a look at my team. We got Fully Evolved, Fully Evolved, Fully Evolved. Everyone except for Weedle is Fully Evolved now. Oh, actually, Kwame isn't Fully Evolved. 
totally forgot about that for some reason. But uh, that's all there is here. And then if you just go this way, you will now be at the exit. And we found some snow goggles earlier. And we can give them back to her. And what do we get? Whoa, what was that? Oh no. <laughs> what a slut. What's she gonna give us? We got the exact item we gave back, but she wanted the pear in her favorite color. Yeah, that's cool. Something neat over here is Snowman. Take the bottle caps. Absolutely. These bottle caps will become much more important later. But for now, just keep your eyes peeled for snowmen and ransack them. Rob them blind, literally, because now he has no eyes. But we're going to be closing this episode off. There is a rest spot here, and you're definitely going to want to take advantage of it. So with our new updated team, we are going to set out for some adventures in the Winter Wonderland.